Climate resilience, it's all about the water. When the temperature goes up, the effects of the uh, circulation of the air, it's all physics. Then the uh, weather pattern changes. People confuse this weather change and climate change. The climate change is we're talking about long term. The weather change is always happening in the short term. And FAO, we are trying to harvest the water as much as possible and then keep the water into the soil so that the moisture will give the, uh, the water to the plant to produce the more food. Hello and welcome to The Shift, powered by ET Edge Insights. It's a platform where we sit with key leaders to deliberate on issues that really change the world we live in. And today, we have with us Mr. Takayuki Hagiwara, who is a food and agricultural organization representative here in India. Mr. Takayuki Hagiwara, welcome to ETH Insights. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me. Climate resilience has really been uh, one of the dominating conversations mm. of these past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Given how increasingly it has affected agriculture, particularly smallholder farmers, what strategies do you think can really build climate res resilience? You know, the uh, climate resilience, it's all about the water. When the temperature goes up, the effects of the uh, circulation of the air, it's all physics. Then the uh, weather pattern changes. It means the, uh, the rainfall pattern changes. People confuse this weather change and climate change. The climate change is we're talking about long term. The weather change is always happening in the short term. But we are talking about climate change. It's the changes of the, the weather for long term, the climate changes. So it's all about the water and the precipitation. If the uh, climate change happens, some parts of the India, for example, the uh, Rajasthan, they may get more water. It's a dry and uh, desert area, but some parts of the other area, like Ganga Basin, we predict that, that they are receiving less water. Okay. But uh, that's the, uh, the food basket of the current food basket of the India. And they may going to feel the uh, much pain. And uh, also we see that the uh, northern part, you know, Ladakh, Kashmir, also the northwest North. of India, uh, we also receive the uh, heavy effect. Okay. So the climate change affect entirely, but at the same time, it's buried a lot. Okay. When we talk about the resilience of the agriculture, we need to think about uh, how to deal with the water. So that's the main part. And FAO, we are trying to harvest the water as much as possible and then keep the water into the soil so that the moisture will give the water to the plant to produce the more food. So that is the, uh, what we are trying to do. Right, right. The FAO's partnership with the Indian government, uh, you know, has really made a difference. And how does this support the greater, uh, you know, objective of the UN's sustainable development goals? Uh, thank you for saying that. Um, I don't know how much FAO has contributed to the government of India, to be honest with you. The government of India is doing a great job in terms of the, the promoting the, the Green Revolution and then also the other sort of, so many other things is happening in, in the government of India. FAO is just to stand by side, to be a cheerleader and then provide the, a little bit support and then provide the, uh, you know, our in, international global experience to the uh, government of India or India society, Indian society. So um, we are really trying to uh, be side with the government of India. And then I hope that there nothing will wrong happens, but uh, we are trying to provide an information so that the government of India will use an information for their decision making. That is what I'm trying to do. Right. Mr. Hagiwara, land degradation in India has been a real challenge yes. over the last few years. What immediate actions can India take, you know, to ensure that those lands are restored rightly? It's a good question. I've been traveling many parts of the, uh, the world and also the many parts of the India. When I touch the soil, 
where they grow the rice and the wheat. Then it was a dry season. So the、um, soil was really compacted. If they have more organic matters inside the soil, the soil is more softer. There was almost no organic matters in the soil.、Okay. So that means the,、uh, all of the particles the,、uh, get together and compacted and then become really, really hard. So, what we are trying to do and what we are trying to promote is to incorporate more organic matter into the soil. Residual burning,、uh, which also causes the air pollution. Instead of the burning the, those straws,、uh, we are trying to promote the、uh, incorporation of straw into the soil so that it increases organic matter s into the soil. That applies in the Not just in that part of the country, but also the, across the India, we are really trying to promote the、uh, organic matter's、uh, content increase in the soil. So that's、okay. the、uh, part of the soil degradation. Right. You previously spoke about how important water is、mm. when it comes to agriculture. Adopting more efficient ways to sort of you know, improve water efficiency、mm. is key. What role can technology play in this? Yeah. That's also another good question. Uh, we have the、uh, small project with the、uh, Ministry of Jal Shakti, which is really now trying to promote the、uh, pressured pipe irrigation system, meaning that instead of the、uh, flooded, flooding the irrigation system, but、uh, they put in the water into the pipe, and then the pipe will have the、uh, uh, fiber optics alongside.、Right. So they are trying to develop the、uh, digital agriculture. And then combine digital agriculture with the, with the irrigation system.、Uh, instead of the、uh, you know, continuous putting the water into the, into the soil, but the、uh, regulated amount of the water will be given to the soil so that the, uh, uh, the water will be used a bit less. So that is what we are trying to do with the j a s h a k t i And the, so, digital agriculture combines to control the flow of the water. Is going to be the major、uh, sort of, hopefully,、uh, we are hoping that it's going to be the、uh, breakthrough.、Uh, right, right. In an Indian context,、uh, Mr. Hagiwara, livestock is really crucial. You know, it makes a big difference. How do you sustainably develop the livestock tech sector in India?、Mm -hmm. How do you think that can happen? India produces the more than 25% of the global, global milk.、Mm -hmm. So it's the largest、uh, milk producer. In terms of the number of the、uh, livestock, buffalo and the cattle, India got the,、uh, more than 300 million buffalo and,、uh, and um, cattle. According to the statistics after Brazil, but、uh, in terms of the milk production, cows and buffalo, it is the largest. Indian system is the,、uh, very different from the、uh, other milk production s y s t e m If you compare with the、uh, milk production system in New Zealand or the Netherlands or even Japan, they feed the、uh, sort of the grains to,、uh, to extract the milk as much as possible. But、uh, India's situation is that the、uh, uh, cattle or cows are kept by the smallholders. And the smallholders hold the、uh, very important role in producing the milk. We need to work with the、uh, smallholders. So that the production will、uh, remain the,、uh, sustainable. But、uh, they are really struggling to get the fodder. So、uh, we are really promoting the fodder production at the same time, but also the,、um, trying to develop some sort of the,、uh, mix of the, the feed so that the, the cow will be uh, fed uh, properly. When we talk about the、uh, livestock production, we are now really emphasizing the importance of. Antimicrobial resistance. Because it's not just the,、uh, you produce the milk, but at the same time, the、uh, you know, livestock, if you put the、uh, antibiotics injected in the, the,、uh, or the given to the、uh, livestock, they consume the antibiotics, it remains into the body of them. And then the product from the livestock, which we consume.、Right. And so you are building the、uh, AMR inside your body. So, the, as I said in the,、uh, another, another occasion, that the, many people 
uh, during the COVID time. We thought that they were killed by the, uh, the COVID, but we suspect there is no statistics, but we suspect that there are many people also killed by the AMR. And the, yes. So right. that's, the, that's the, the very important thing that, that, uh, you know, that we need to communicate with the public, to the farmers, to, to deal with the uh, use of the uh, antibiotics. Right. Mr. Hagiwara, this has been really insightful. Thank you so much. Thank you. For being part of this. Thank you very much.